Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proofed Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial, and this is our part 18. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to use our Faker library to insert our dummy data to our database table. And also, guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So before starting this video session, guys, if you back to browser. So here we have a link something called for our Ficker library. This documentation means this GitHub repository will give you all about the idea of Ficker and how can we actually use Ficker to our application. It give all information about that. So back to our editor. So before going to editor, if you go to slides, so how can we actually use a step by step to add our fake data to our database table? So these are the steps that we have to follow. Firstly, we have to create a factory file. After creating a factory file, next we have to create a CDA file using this factory file. These two files are dependent to each other. This is only about the structure and this is about to create the data. Finally, we have to run the command to actually import the fake data to our table and this is the command that actually we have to use. Now by going through these steps guys, actually we can create our, our faker data library file. So back to editor. Now first of all, let's create a factory file where this factory folder resides. Go to database folder. Inside database folder, we have a folder called factories. If I open this folder, right now we have a default file called model factory. Let me create a file inside this factory file. So I'm going to create a file and actually we are going to import some fake data for let's say that for our classes section or so this is our classes section. So we are going to import or insert some data inside this table. Inside this class table section table structure. So if you go to structure, this is what we need. This is our section name and finally we have to provide the status. So back to editor. We are going to create a factory file or actually we have multiple ways to actually import fake data to our database table by using factory and also by using our models. So let's create some fake fake data by using models first. So close this window. Back to our cedar file. Let me create a cedar file inside this folder by using our PHP artisan command. So back to terminal and let's say that PHP artisan and if I just press enter inside enter go up now as inside this make command list here we have called make cedar this is the command basically used to create a new cedar class file so we are going to use this command file so I'm just clearing all these things let's say PHP artisan make and we have to write cedar and finally we have to provide the cedar file name so let's say the class section cedar i am pressing enter now cedar created successfully i am going to give to permission to this file sudo su and this is the permission so let's say chmot minus r triple seven and this is the triple seven permission to our all files and folders so back to editor now if I go to inside the seeds folder, we have a file called class section cedar.php. This is the newly cedar file that we have created. So we are going to actually insert some fake data by using our model. So first of all, we have to actually import that model. So use let's app models. If you go to the directory structure, Inside this models folder, we have called class section.php. So backward slash, this is all about class section.php. Now I'm going to insert some data inside this class section. And basically, if I open this class section, it actually contains or uh, this is something student classes. So this is not our model. Actually, we have to insert the data inside this TBL class sections. And basically, I think that student class. Okay, it is fine. So I'm going to copy this student class. Actually, we have to import our student class. This is the model. So I'm going to close this file and we are going to insert the data inside this class, inside this table. So go to run method. Now, firstly, we have to make our data points. So let's say data. It is an array. These are the data guys. Basically, we are going to insert this data inside our table. So inside this array, 
we have to provide as multiple arrays to our values. So what are the columns? Columns we have called section and status. So let's say that section we are going to provide something as let's say that a this is a section and a status has default value as 1. So we are not going to provide the status. Again if I write another row this is the another row inside that table. So this is about section and this is all about B. So if I copy and paste multiple times and this is about A, B, C, D and this is all about E. These are the sections of our classes. Now finally we have made our data points. So how can we actually insert these data? So if you go up this is the model that we have used. By using this model actually we can insert our data to our table. So let's say that a student class and finally we have to use a method called insert so let's say insert inside this insert method we have to provide these data points so let's say that data so finally by using this model class this model class actually related with our tbl class section inside this tbl class section table we are going to insert these data so i'm going to save this file back to our terminal and before running our php artisan db seed command if you back to editor now open up database table cedar file we have to import this class section cedar that we have made inside this file to run our command so what we have to do inside this file go inside run method and let's say that this call inside this call method we have to provide our class section let's say class section this is our cedar file and basically this is our class okay so if I save this file back to our terminal and we have to run command php artisan db seed by running this command actually we are going to insert all the classes sections data that we have created inside our cedar file I am pressing enter now as we can see that the class section cedar file has been imported successfully so back to browser Reload this browse section and tbl class section has these data what we have provided into our cedar file. This is all about using figure data by using our model insertion. Now let's start using our figure library. So back to editor. Now by using figure library we are going to insert our data inside this tbl classes. Go to structure. This is the table classes. Basically, it contains a name. This is class section ID. And basically, this is the class section ID. What we have inserted in our table class section, this ID basically belongs to. And this is our seats available and status. So, we want to insert only three columns. Right now, status has a default value. So, we have to insert these three columns. So, back to editor go to our model factory and inside this factory we have to create a file and let's say that class factory dot php this is the file that we have made inside this file we have to import our figure library first to get rid of all these comments so to import that we have to use called faker backward slash generator as faker now inside this file let's say faker define inside this define the first parameter we have to pass as the model name means in which table actually we are going to import our fake data so as we know that actually we have to insert inside this tpl classes it means that we have to use our school class model so let's say that app by going through these models we have to use called a school class next we have to use next we have to write function inside this function inside this function we are going to use our faker so faker and this is our faker instance by using this faker instance we can use all its faker properties and property methods so inside this anonymous function let's return and this is the value that actually we are going to return to our database columns as the insertion value inside this return array what we have to pass if you go to a database table structure firstly we have to create as name so this is the value so let's say name inside this name we are going to use called faker and this is the name property so if i back to its documentation go here so these are the faker provided attributes properties basically related with if suppose we have used as name so if i search for name 
it actually gives a dummy data according to a class section name. So this is all about the dummy data. By using this name, it provides dummy data for that. Okay, so back to editor. So firstly, we have created a name. Next, we have to actually use about the class section ID. So how can I actually get class section ID? So for that, we are going to use let's app models. Inside this model, we have called student class. So let me use that. So inside this, I'm going to database table, copy this column, paste it here, and I'm going to use let's say student class all by using this random method and let's say ID so by using this feature actually we are picking a random ID of our student class as we go inside database table go to class sections we are picking the picking random value from inside this table like a b c d any random value and the respective IDs so back to editor so all we have done about the class section ID next what we need what we need actually inside this structure we have called seats available so copy this key back here and list the seats available and inside that we are going to use a faker inside this property we have a method called number between inside that we have to provide two values firstly the minimum value and the maximum value so let's say that we have a class in which 30 seats minimum and maximum we have called 50 seats so finally we have done about the setting up the our factory file called name class section id and seats available next we have to create our cdo file so if i save this file back to terminal clear all these things and let's say that php artisan make cdo and this is all about class section or this is about class cdo file because of we already made about the cedar of class section cedar so this is about class cedar file so press enter cedar created successfully so back to editor if i go inside the seeds folder we have a called class cedar file so back to terminal because we need to give the permission to this file and let's say php artisan it's not about php artisan it's chmod minus r and this is all about we did so inside this file inside this run method now inside this method we are going to use called factory and finally we have to create as a method so what we actually we, ha we are going to write inside this factory we are going to import our class file or our number of data counts so let's say that app basically inside this app we have models and inside this models we are going to use called our school class this is a school class so let's say school class and finally we need to use class and what actually how many data is actually we want to create so let's say that we are going to create 10 fake data we are going to insert 10 fake rows inside our tbl classes table and what will be the data data what we have provided here so just save this file go to terminal and finally we have to run this command so php artisan db seed and before pressing that if we go to editor open our database table cedar file and we have created this so if i copy this command make this comment and finally we need to use called our class cedar cedar and this is all about class cedar this is what we have created here and inside this class cedar file we have used a factory and this factory belongs to this factory class file so if i save this database cedar file back to our terminal and let's see that php artisan db seed press enter and we have something in undefined variable faker let me check that this is the error actually we got inside class factory file line number six so back to editor and inside a class factory file this is line number six and we have to write here as factory not faker this is our mistake so let me correct that save this file back to terminal and let me run this command again and as we see that class editor file has imported data successfully back to browser go to browse and as we know that the trend rows has been created by using our faker library 
this is the name of class this is class section ID it means that if we open up class section new tab this has ID 3 ID 3 it means that it contains the C section so back to this tab and now these are the seats available what we have provided the range according to that range it has provided a dummy value so this is how can we use fake library to input the data so what are the basic steps let me summarize once more so back to our editor firstly we have imported data by using our model file so if you go to cedar file this is called class section cedar file so if I open class section cedar file this is the cedar file and by using model by using model we have inserted data directly this is the data set what we have made this is the first way to insert next what we did if you go to database cedar file this is the class cedar file and if I open class cedar file inside this cedar file we have called a factory and inside this factory what we have defined if you go inside class factory this is what we have defined here all these things are interrelated with each other so these are the steps guys actually by the help of these steps we have created our dummy data to our tables inside next video session we will create some dummy values for our faculties as well as for our students so back to slides if you have any queries inside this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day